Welcome to Golf Mobility Pro episode six. Today we're gonna to give you a five minute workout that you can do on or off the golf course, plus pro tip from Kyle Leeds where he teaches you how to get more spin on your chip shots. For this unique five minute workout, Lauren's gonna show you two exercises that you're gonna do for the first two minutes that are gonna warm your body up, both with the lower and upper body. And then I'm gonna show you two strength exercises, one with the lower, one with the upper, that you're gonna do for the prescribed amount for the last three minutes of the workout. Let's start by working on some upper body mobility to give you greater distance and club head speed in your swing. On your stomach, pull your right knee up to the side so your leg is creating a 90 degree angle. From here, you'll take your left arm, thread it underneath so you're resting on the outside of the arm and resting on the shoulder. Place your right hand behind your head so your elbow is sticking out to the side. Keeping your right knee down, take an inhale to rotate open, opening your chest toward the sky. And then as you exhale, close the elbow toward the left arm. Continue to keep the knee pressing down so that you can maximize the twist that you're getting as you open and then exhale to close. Once you've completed your reps on this side, extend your right leg behind you, unwind to your starting position and repeat on the opposite side. Next, we'll come into some side lying work to mobilize the lower body, especially the hips. Lying on your side, bend the bottom leg to be of greater balance and extend the top leg long. Make sure that you're not collapsing in the lower abdominals, but rather keep the waist lifting away from the floor so that the abdominals, especially the obliques, are engaged and your pelvis stays level. Start with some simple leg lifts, lifting the top leg up and then lowering it down without letting it come all the way down to the floor. As you're pulsing up, you're starting to activate the muscles on the outsides of the leg while mobilizing the hip joint. After a few reps here, you'll take it into rotation. So in either direction, begin to circle the leg around, trying to keep the hips and the pelvis as stable as possible and maintaining that stability and strength in the obliques. Be sure to go in both directions, reversing your circle before releasing and going to the other side. Kyle Leeds here. I'm gonna be talking to you today about getting a little bit more spin on our wedge shots. The first step I think about when getting more spin on my wedge shots is a really simple one. It doesn't take any athletic ability or any thought really. It's just cleaning our club face. You can either use a towel or a brush and we just wanna make sure that we have a clean club face and it's dry. We wanna squeeze every ounce of uh, spin out of this wedge that we can. A really important piece into uh, getting spin on your wedges is uh, dictated by the lie that you have. So if I'm on a tight lie, my wedge shot's gonna spin a lot more than if I'm in the rough. In the rough, we're gonna get more grass in between our club face and it's gonna be harder to get it to spin more often. Another really important piece into getting this ball to spin is getting a lot of contact between the ball and the club face itself. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to have ball first, then ground. Some of the best chippers of all time have actually caught ground before the ball and you can still get a lot of spin and a lot of ball contact. And the way that some of them do that is actually by slowing down their backswing. You'd be surprised how much your ball contact improves just by going a little bit slower on the way back. Robin Barry Caden here with your nutrition tip of the day. One of my favorite snacks for a round of golf is Supernola. Supernola is more than just a granola. It contains nuts and fruits and seeds, so it has all that balanced nutrition, the carbohydrates, protein, and fat to keep your energy up for the whole round of golf. Plus, they taste great. For the strength exercises, you're gonna do one with the lower body and one with the upper body. For the lower body exercise, you're gonna take a golf club and you're gonna press it out in front of you and you're gonna squat down. You're gonna try and get your thighs parallel to the ground at the bottom position and you're gonna make sure you keep your heels on the ground the entire time, no matter how far down you go. If this is a little too challenging and you can't quite get the thighs past parallel, what you're gonna do is put the club on the ground and give yourself a little added stability and repeat the same exercise. Try and get down there as far as you can, keeping the heels on the ground. If both are a little too easy, you're gonna place the golf club above your head and try and keep those arms and shoulders back as you perform the squat. For the upper body exercise, you're gonna place the golf club on your back. I like to use a head cover on the golf club when you do this one, just in case your club does fall. All you're gonna do is try and keep that club balancing on your back and take your right hand, tap it to your left shoulder, take your left hand, tap it to your right shoulder, 
and you're gonna do that for eight reps each side. If this hurts your wrists, you can simply just do this from your forearms. For the squats, you're gonna go 20 seconds or eight reps, and then you're gonna go shoulder taps for 20 seconds or eight reps each side. Then you're gonna rest 20 seconds. Then you're gonna repeat that two more times for a total of three rounds. So you're doing Lauren's exercises for the first two minutes, and then the last three minutes, you're gonna do the squat and the shoulder tap. Dr. Matthew Myers here from Velocity Sports Medicine, here to give you your sports medicine tip. One of my favorite techniques for patients with deep trigger points, trigger points that are hard for us to reach with our hands, is dry needling. Trigger point dry needling, as its full name, is using acupuncture needles, very, very small, thin needles, to access the areas deep into the muscle to try to bring blood flow and oxygen into the area, heal those deep areas, restoring proper function. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and share it with a fellow golfer. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. And if you're looking for more, click on the link below to enroll in the Ultimate Golf Fitness Program, a 12-week progressive course to help you gain greater mobility, strength, and power in your game.